What you've got, it's a detached bungalow, three bedrooms. Uh, the current owner uses this as a living room, but it could be a bedroom. Lovely views. Oh, it's foggy outside. Yeah, it, it just, not the best of days. Yeah, seems very dark. Good size, though. Good yes. size, yeah. And, could... yeah, you'd be right with the, the re regen. Would you use this as a bedroom, do you think, or do you keep it as a living room? Oh, we'd have to look and see what the other rooms are like. You would, yes, yeah. you would, miss. Should we do that now? Indeed. She's getting very stern with me. I'm <laughs> frightened. Actually, no, I like it. Ooh. Down the hallway, there's a large double bedroom, a single, as well as the family shower room. But we're going to check out the largest bedroom. Much brighter. Yes, this, this is a lot brighter, isn't it? Much bigger window. You could have your living room here, you see. Yeah, yeah, this is much better as a living room. And then look out across the fields and see the horses and exactly. the sheep. Exactly. Yeah. I can imagine on a really sunny day, this room would be absolutely amazing. Uh, especially with that view. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe then it, at, at some point you could actually build maybe a conservatory. A conservatory like that, was the first thing that I thought of. It's yes. got that feel, hasn't it? Yeah. Do I sense that they're finally feeling the potential here? Let's see if the kitchen breakfast room will seal the deal. And uh, here it is. Oh, right, it's got some more modern units. Yes. Yeah. So it's been done up a couple of years ago. Yeah. This is a great space because uh, not only have you got the kitchen, you've also got the utility room there. Good size utility room and a door leading out into the garden. So, mm -hmm. do you like this? Um, it's doable. It's workable round. This bungalow has good potential for accommodation inside and the outside space offers a great starting point to develop their flock. But how much is it going to cost them to get the perfect setup for all their animals? OK, go, go on then. Um, how much do you think it's on the market for? I'm going to hazard a, a round figure, just as a guess, say 200,000. 200,000, OK, how about you? Um, I might go 210, but that would be for the outbuildings. I'm taking more of that into consideration. 210,000 pounds? Yeah. Ooh, it's on the market for 270,000 pounds. Right, let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, you know, uh, the stamp duty um, barriers at 250, so I think offers around 250 would probably be sensible. Um, so it's the top end of your budget, really. Mm. Go and have another look around. OK, then, thanks. Something in there may change your opinion. Although, I don't think it will. I honestly thought that this property had everything that they wanted. It ticked all the boxes. OK, it didn't have a sea view, but we, we've ascertained that you won't get a sea view. But, you know, it's got three bedrooms, it's got amazing land, amazing outbuildings. I thought, well, it's going to be a definite cert. But it's not. It's not a belly dance, more of a belly flop. At £270,000, this bungalow is in a peaceful rural Devonshire location. It sits in over an acre of land, which already has the facilities for a small holding, including a range of outbuildings. Inside the property, there are three bedrooms, a living room and a recently modernised kitchen, adjoining a huge utility room. But ultimately, this property is all about the animals. The style of the property may not be what they had in mind, but the land and outbuildings give them everything they've asked for. So the question is, can they see beyond the modern bungalow? All the yards is all absolutely perfect, absolutely what we need. Stables in here, it's got electric, got water, got places for sheep. Hay barn, garages, land right at the back of the house. Yeah. Just a shame that the house isn't quite right. It's just not for us, is it? Well, I just think that we're never ever going to be able to afford something that really is just right, and it's going to be a real compromise to get something spot on. I suppose that there's got to be something out there that we will just fall in love with. So I suppose we just keep looking. So, did you enjoy that second look? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's time to take you girls back to Cornwall. Come on. <laughs> With the sun setting on the horizon, the first day of house hunting comes to an end. With a budget of £250,000, retired teacher Carol and her music-loving daughter Elizabeth want to leave their native Derbyshire and head south to live with their animals in the Cornish countryside. Our tour so far has taken them to two properties where their pets would be well catered for, but the houses haven't got them moving. I thought you'd come out here kind of 
But coming up, we've got something to really make a song and dance about. Two little mermaids, they came after me. It's a brand new day in our search to find belly dancing Carol and her daughter Elizabeth a brand new property here in Cornwall. What they were after was never going to be easy to find, nigh on impossible I'd say, but yesterday we did show them two good properties with the option of land. Today I think we should concentrate on the property and forget the land altogether. Wish me luck. For the mystery package we've come back to Cornwall, closer to the coast and into the quiet village of Week St Mary, just seven miles south of the popular seaside resort of Bude. Week St Mary is an immaculate place in the countryside, full of well-kept cottages, and the village square has a range of shops, including a post office. There's also a frequent bus service for Carol, and Elizabeth can practice her board skills nearby at Whitmouth Bay, which has a fantastic reputation for surfing. The mystery property doesn't have the land they wanted for the animals, but the house itself more than delivers. Let's just hope it wins them over. Welcome to the uh, mystery property. Right. Right. Why is it a mystery? Well, because it's not what we asked for. <laughs> well, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Uh, so far we've had to compromise quite a lot because of land issues, haven't mm. we? Well, here there's no compromise at all, OK? There isn't this is any. all about the house. Yes. But it's a house in an amazing development, two and a half years old, won loads of design awards. What do you think of it? Well, it looks like yeah, a nice, yeah, nice little property. You rent land at the moment as well, don't you? Yeah. So this is an option where you'd continue to rent land. Fine. Uh, what you've got here is just, a, well, I think anyway, a really lovely house. Yes, it looks smashing. Let's have a look. OK, come on. The mystery property is a modern, stylish, detached family home and really demonstrates that their budget can afford them a top-quality house much closer to the coast. This is modern living, OK? In the countryside. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. No sloping lines? Come on into the living room. What do you think? Well, it's nice and bright and airy, isn't it? Nice doors out into the garden. Would your stuff, would your furniture fit in here? Yeah, there's plenty of room for the table. So you could imagine yourself in here? Oh, I could ma imagine myself in here. I'm rather I could afford it. <laughs> that is enough oh, we'll get matter. to that in a minute. You only see yeah. one room. Let me take you through to the kitchen. Come on, follow me. It's a huge move. <laughs> All right, yes. You've got a lovely utility there as well. Handy, another door. Yes, yeah, so you can put washing. Yeah. Out, yes. Okay. It's quite a small kitchen, isn't it? I've got all spotlights. It's all right. I hate spotlights. You can take them out. Yeah, yeah they can be taken. It's all Indeed. cosmetic. Yeah. So it's not too small for you. You don't look very happy, I have to say. There's not I'm a chip happy. in the paintwork. Nothing. It's absolutely pristine conditions. Scared. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you scared? It's it's so nice and clean and, and it's not like homely, it's like a show house. OK. There's really nothing to fear here and I have no doubts that with their own possessions in situ they could really make it their own. Down on this floor there's also a modern fully tiled family bathroom and two double bedrooms, one of which is being used as a large study but could also make a great space for practising music or even belly dancing. This is uh, one of the bedrooms. All right, ground floor bedroom. Yeah. OK, yes. It's lovely, isn't it? It's grand. I like this room. Nice and light and airy. Yeah. Not sure I always have it as a bedroom. Dining room, maybe? Maybe, or even somewhere where I could do some sewing, okay. costumes. I'm looking forward to taking you upstairs because there's one really, really big bedroom and you two can <laughs> fight over it. Oh, I'll win. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. There are a total of three bedrooms in this property, and upstairs, the first floor has been completely given over to the master suites. Before I show you the bedroom, let me show you what is, in essence, your own ensuite. All right. Good size, nice. isn't it? Yeah. Got a shower tuck there. Yeah. Good size ceiling as well. Yes. You don't feel trapped or claustrophobic at no, all? No, this is much better than the, the sort of new houses where you've got very low ceilings. I like the... Good. The, yeah. Now, this is a good-sized bedroom. This is nice, yes. This is mine. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Looks like you've got the downstairs one. Yeah, right. So much for the dining room. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it's very, very quiet. You're not overlooked anywhere. I can hear the bird song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're in the country, but also, you know, within a community. Yeah. 
Let's go outside. What little there is of the garden, it's absolutely perfect, I think. Come on. Yes, that's the house tour done and dusted. And although they're making the right noises, I sense that they really aren't feeling this house as much as I hoped they would. The outside space is compact, but has been really well maintained, making a pleasant sun trap where they wouldn't be overlooked. I think this garden is beautiful, I really do. But, you know, it's probably the most private garden we've shown you. It's most pleasant. Can you imagine mm. yourself out here? Yeah, yeah. Mm. it's really nice on a nice sunny day. Um, it means you'd have to go the uh, rented route as far as your land's yeah. concerned, but you're doing that now anyway. Yeah. How much do you think this is worth? I think it's probably out of our budget. Do you? Yeah, I think it'd be over our budget by quite a bit, I'd say. 280,000. I was going to go 270. Would you be happy if I told you it was uh, less than that? Please do tell us it's less than that. OK, I will tell you. It's less than that. It's uh, 250,000. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, wow. On the money. Right. Spot on. So that could be us. Fantastic. Do you want to go have another look around now, then? I'd like to have a look around there, please, if that's all right. Yeah, you, you, you carry on looking around. And yeah. don't be scared now, because, you know, this could be yours. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, go right. On. Shall we go? Yeah, just go on. Look, yeah. Have a look up here. I'll come and find you.